Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, conducting another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. Uh, this is Lake Lamode here now, we've just arrived, you can see we still need all eight moons. And we're gonna try to get them without touching any water. Um, in my crouching video I did try to get moons that were above the water as much as possible, because water stops you from crouching. But I did still swim through the, like, through the water to get to stuff. Uh, I believe you don't have to, so... We're gonna try to do that, just like with the, um... Tostarina video, if I do touch the water, I'll just make my way back to a platform. I won't, like, reset or anything. Uh, but the route that I take will be entirely theoretically possible without touching any water, so... Yeah. <laughs> First move we get is here, that's really easy. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah! Uh, then, uh, we can't go over there, because if we go the normal way, we require to swim through an underwater tunnel, and that requires you to touch some water. So instead we're going to triple jump. Let's make our way up here, which is really easy. Uh, Cappy thought it was amazing. Uh, we can't go into that painting because it's underwater. It also wouldn't help us because moons from other kingdoms don't actually contribute to your current kingdom. Uh, we can, however, go over here and just get this moon without any trouble. By becoming a zipper. There we go. Yeah! Okay, that's when we start to get a little worried about where to get moons, basically. Um, because, as you can see, the rest of the kingdom is one gigantic lake. Uh, thankfully, there are things we can do about that. Uh, we just want to get these first, hang on. I think this is why the Goombas are here, to help you get up here, but you don't need them, so I don't know. If we just come over here, I'm going to just clean up some of the Goombas around, so this, they won't bother us. There we go. Uh, basically, there's a platform you can see around there. We're going to be jumping over there. Uh, it may look like you can't, but you can. We're about to. Uh, you just do a cappy roll jump here. A bit better. Not like that. That was terrible. Uh, you want to basically throw cappy a little bit off the edge. Uh, sort of... Back up a tiny bit. About there. That looks like a good spot. As you can see, we've now gotten to this platform without touching any water. Now we're going to go to that middle platform over there, the one with the big hole in it. Uh, with that also without touching the water on the way. Uh, another Cappy Royal Jump is probably the best way. So, I'm just going to get my camera to play. There we go. You want Cappy to be above a piece of land when you do a Cappy Royal Jump, because then uh, when you bounce off Cappy when she's on land, you get a vault, and it doesn't use up your mid-air cap bounce. It gives you a lot more height, plus you actually go a lot, like, plus it doesn't use up the bounce, so you can use it again in mid-air to go further. From here, we can just do a simple triple jump. To get up here. Hit this switch if you want, but it's not necessary. That just makes it easier to get up here if you happen to be swimming around. Over here is another moon we can get out of this crate. There we go. Uh, as you can see, it's all the way over there, but not a problem. Just a couple of, couple of long jumps is all it takes to get over there. And maybe a triple jump, which I messed up. <laughs> oh, alright, I can unzip this. This only has purple coins in it, but, you know, they're nice to have, so not a problem. Yeah! So that's three moons. Uh, we're going probably to do the boss fight. I don't think there's enough moons you can get without touching water to get there, get all the way there without doing a boss fight. Uh, so yeah. But we can do the 2D moon over here, which we'll be making our way over to. It's very easy, you just duck in here. You can see, you get lots and lots of notes to jump at. This is very easy normally. It's a little harder when you can't when you're you know crouching, but normally it's easy. There we go. So that's four out of eight. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. You can grab all of those. Head down this pipe. This puts us back on the ledge where we were before. Uh, the one that we uh, cap jumped to. 
not cap. The one we did the cappy roll jump to from over there. Uh, you can see that there's some moons under the water. We can't reach them because they're under the water, so we will not be getting them in this particular video. Uh, we throw cappy over there and do a. There we go, easy. I probably should have actually hit a checkpoint so we could just walk back, but I didn't. So yeah, that's easy to do. Uh, just make your way up there. Here, you can use the spinner thing if you want, or you can just jump over. Ah, there's more. There we go. There's the checkpoint, which we can get. Uh, there is a sub area over here that we can do, so we will be doing it. There's another one underwater. Obviously, we can't reach that one, but we can reach this one without any trouble. Hmm. I reckon I can do that. Ah, oh, too close. Yep, there we go. Easy. <laughs> uh, this one, there's no water in it, so it's just normal play now. Uh, you can come up here if you want. Get, to get some coins. Tasty, tasty coins. There you go. Uh, here, you're supposed to use the spinner thing to get under that rope to get up there, but you can just do this. So you don't need to do that at all. Uh, here, you're supposed to use that spinning thing again, but you don't have to, but I messed it up, so I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh dear. Boop boop boop. Oh, uh, we can't reach the spot where you can get a life up heart in this kingdom because you have to go through some water to get to it. It's on the top level of the plaza. But still, you know, underwater inside the plaza, so yeah, we can't reach it. There we go, see? Easy. Uh, then you've got a bunch of these guys. Just gotta hang here, wait for them to move out of the way. Easy peasy. Uh, here you're supposed to use that spinner. I wonder if you can skip it. Hmm, you probably take damage. This part's pretty simple, as you can see. Give a bit of a shortcut there if you want. There's two moons to be had here, so first we're going to jump on top of this platform when it moves back down. Yeah! And then the other regular moon is the one down here. Bunch of coin rings you can get on the way if you want some coin rings. Da da da! Yeah! Awesome. Okay, we need two more moons. I think... I think the only other moons we can access are from the boss rush. Oh, it's not a boss rush, it's just one boss fight. Uh, but I don't think there's any others we can get, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, a lot of the moons and stuff don't show up until later. <sighs> so we can't actually get them right now, anyway. Uh, we might, maybe... We might be able to reach the secret path moon, but to do that we would have to fight the boss, because the way you do it is to go up to where the boss is and do a tricky jump from there. Uh, and fighting the boss will give us enough moons anyway, so that doesn't really help so much in this situation. Um, but yeah, you can't buy a moon because the shop is inside the plaza down there underwater. Uh, you can't do the other sub area because it's underwater. You can't get to... Uh, well, the lifer part's also underwater. You can't get to Toad, to, to Captain Toad because they're underwater. You can't get to lots of stuff that's underwater. 
Thankfully, you can get to the boss fight, which is what we're going to do, because that's all I can think of, really. Um, that gives us a multi-moon, so we actually get one more moon than we were intending. Uh, that's not a problem, though. That's fine. So yeah, all you got to do is come up here for the boss fight. Uh, this is uh, Rango, yeah. This is the guy who works like the spinners that we were just using. Pretty simple, he's got to buff him on the head three times. Like a boss or something. Ow. I just took a hit because I'm silly, not because, like, it's hard or anything. Oh, uh, where he goes through the bout zig zig? This part, you can actually jump on his head to make it speed up and go to the next part. That's how you do a quick, quicker Rango fight. But I keep just standing around and throwing Cappy, like, like a fool, instead of actually doing what you're supposed to do. This is the first Rango fight, so as you can see, it's very, very easy, even if I take hits from being silly. And with that, we've cleared the Lake Kingdom without actually touching any water, because we now have all the moons we need, and one to spare. I believe that's all the moons you can get here without touching any water. Uh, because everything else... Either this is underwater, or is in a room that happens to be through some water. Uh, if we could activate the checkpoints without going underwater, then we could walk to the under to, to the um to the plaza, yeah! and therefore get access to the stuff that's down there without having to touch any more water. But I don't think we can do that. Are you there, Rock? Are you are you a special Rock? No, you're a regular Rock. Okay. Anyway, we have enough moons here, so, yep. And that's about all we can do here, I think. Uh, we can get nine power moons. <sighs> and, yeah, that's it for this experiment. It didn't take very long. We're only 12 minutes in. This is a pretty easy one. The Lake Kingdom is very small. Uh, Compared to some of the games of the kingdoms, which are quite big and expansive and have a lot to do. I still love it, and the music's beautiful. But compared to some of the others, it is quite small, which is a bit sad. But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna cash in these moons, and that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed a fairly small amount of strats necessary in order to get to all the moons here. Basically, all you need is that one cappy roll jump, and everything else can just be done with regular jumps. Um, I'm just going to do it again just to demonstrate, in case anyone forgot what I did. You just throw cappy out here, about there. That's, that's a good spot. Then just use the cap bounce to go around the corner onto this platform. Very easy. Uh, I believe a regular jump wouldn't cut it, um, but you know what we just did does cut it, so all good. Uh, I think there are some more moons we might be able to get now. I don't know. We can't do the timer challenge because that requires us to go into water. Uh, we can't do that one because we have to bring a fish, and fish live in water. I know, right? So you would never have guessed that. <laughs> Uh, I think I think we've done everything we can at this point. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the extremely dry Lake La Mode. <laughs> Next time we'll be making our way through the Wooded Kingdom, which is much larger than this one and probably, oh no, <laughs> and probably harder than this one. Uh, obviously that doesn't mean anything since I've done the video already. That was just closing statements. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you, you want to see more of these sorts of videos where I do different stuff each time instead of always exactly the same stuff. I hope you're enjoying me using more trick jumps than I used to because I can now. Things like cappy roll jumps are possible because I'm not crouching. All that sort of thing. I'm very tired, I'm having a big yawn, so good night.